Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your April 2018 monthly reading. Uh, I'd like you to watch this in April. It's being recorded in March, may resonate in March, but more likely in April. So really, really go back to it in April, okay, to see how it resonates then. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Looks like you guys are taking action. You're doing something. Moving forward, definitely taking some sort of action. Quickly, moving fast. Yeah. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or another fire sign. I think you're releasing something negative. You're releasing something negative. You're taking some serious action here to let go of something that has held you back in the past. What is this? Yeah, you guys have been stuck somewhere where there was no happiness, where it wasn't fulfilling you. You weren't fulfilled. And I feel like now you may have received something, some sort of communication or some help from somebody that, you know, is helping you to release something that was oh, very negative. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's your, maybe it's a mother. Maybe you're receiving some help from a mother. Um, yeah, there's been some kind of split. There's been some kind of split in a union. Now, this union can be between lovers, can be between mother and son, you know, that kind of situation. When there is a split, this can go in many different ways, but there is some kind of break in a partnership. And, you know, you may be feeling, like, unstable from this break, but it is going to bring stability to your life. I know that's hard to understand, but I believe that you're letting go of something that you have been struggling to let go of, okay? It's been a struggle to let it go, and I really feel like it's really time to recuperate from a situation that was insecure, okay? This situation was kind of like drawing energy from you. I believe you guys were involved in some sort of situation that what didn't make you happy and like stole your energy, it stole your, your passion and your drive, and now, I feel like you are taking the time to recuperate from this and and just let it go. And as you let it go, it brings some sort of stability back to your life. But I think you've been resisting it for a while. You've been resisting this letting go of whatever it is because of the ties. I think there's some ties to it that stem way back. Okay, You've had ties with this situation for a very, very long time. And it, it really feels like, you know, it's it's really defeated you. You've been defeated by something. But let me get this zoomed in before we go any further. Now, this is like I said, this could stem all the way back to your childhood, whatever this is. I feel like, you know, you've lost some sort of uh, faith. Okay, you've lost faith in the situation and it feels as though with this star card reversed that there's some insecurity or some discouragement, okay? There's some discouragement that somebody has, somebody's discouraged you, okay? They have discouraged you to a point where you felt like you couldn't even move forward, you know what I mean? I feel like you've been manipulated in a way that has stolen your passion, stolen your fire, and you're letting it go. You're, you're relighting the fire. You're moving on. You're headed in the right direction. You're dropping it. You're dropping it because it's over. I think the storm is over. You're letting it end. It's like this is, it's time to end. It's time for it to end. And you may even be making some compromises to let it end. It's like, you know, I don't care what I have to let go. This has to go. I feel like there is some sort of partnership that is ending and it's for your best okay and you may receive some help from a woman a motherly figure 
that helps you to recuperate from this loss. You know, this may even cost you some money. There may be a loss in loss in money um, this month because of your because you have to take action. It might cost some money for you to take action, but it feels like you're making the right move. Okay, you are definitely making the right move. Um, because wherever you were at, there was some sort of dead end. There was no growth. It was like, I'm going nowhere here. You were going nowhere. And I think that you were dealing with somebody who lacked compassion. You know, they didn't have compassion for your situation at all. But I feel like you, you know, you were, you were, you're ready now. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight this head on. I'm ready to, to move forward. Yeah, because you were dealing with something that was unreasonable. I think that, and I don't think this is you, okay? This does represent uh, a fire sign, but I think that, well, part of it's you. I do feel like you've lost your energy. You've lost your, you had lost your energy to fight, but I think that your energy to fight with for whatever it is, this is, is coming back. I think you have decided that this, wherever you were at was unreasonable. It wasn't serving you. It was totally a downer. And now I have to, I'm moving on. I'm moving on from this situation. But you have this fear. This fear of change has held you back. And it feels as though you were holding on for way, way too long to this situation. But there wasn't no offers of love coming in. It was like there was no growth here. So you come to a point where you reach this stalemate. And you, there's no sense there's no growth. There's this partnership that falls apart these are both partnerships so I feel like there's some kind of partnership with whoever this is with that you are walking away from okay I feel like you are have been stuck in this situation where you may have even felt imprisoned or isolated or in jail you know I feel like you have been through some sort of conflict with another person that has totally held you back and you're like, I can't. So I think that this is a month of you taking action. The very first card was, was an action card because you were in a situation that was very unsatisfying. And now you're making a clear choice to make a change. I have to make this change. It is time for a change because I can't live in this sorrow anymore. I can't live it. I can't live here. So it feels like you guys could be moving home or you could be kicking somebody out or somebody could be moving in, but it looks like your home could be changing. You are working on becoming more secure, more secure than you've been in a really long time. And you're regaining control. You are restoring control in your life. It's like things are starting to change for the better at this time and you know why because you're making clear decisions there's no more confusion here you're seeing the situation clearly you're taking action you're removing obstacles from your life and you're allowing I think you're allowing somebody to help you you know and because you're doing that you're receiving new opportunities you know this is a uh, love okay this is a this is a happy happy time and I feel like you are receiving some sort of new love, whether it's from a mother figure or a woman or somebody else, okay? You're receiving a new beginning in love because you take action. And you're stepping over the finish line. You've learned something really big through all this turmoil. You are, you got, this is success. This is success, Sagittarius. You guys are having victory after a period of I think being isolated and imprisoned okay now it's time for you to start this new chapter this new phase in your life it's it's a time it's a new phase which brings about a lot of happiness this is going to be a happy month for you it is it's time right it's time okay you guys have been in a karmic situation and now it's time for you to take the, it's, it's final, it's over. You know, it's, it's, you guys had to take the final step, all right? It's over. I think that you guys have made the right choice because this is a choice and this is a choice. You've made the right choice. You've learned a huge lesson here and now it's time for you guys to be victorious and, and, and build a new foundation from the ground up elsewhere. It's like 
bringing stability back to your life one step at a time. And I feel like that's what you've been doing. I feel like now that you have regained your focus and found your inner strength, you're able to build a new foundation from the ground up that brings victory. Okay, I see victory. I think it's your turn. It's your turn. That's, that's just what I keep hearing. Yeah, it's like your fire has been relit. Your confidence, your courage, your willpower, the whole nine yards. You guys are determined to be successful. And because your determination has been or is reamplifying, you're vibrating very highly and what you want is coming because you're creating it. You're creating your future right now that's what's happening and it's very positive you're standing up for yourself you're standing your ground and doing what's right for you and feeling really really good about it it's like this is beautiful and then again we have a mother figure so you may be receiving help from a mother just saying but you're going through a renewal you're going through a rebirth I feel like you guys have done your inner work, you've done your soul searching, and because you've done the work that you need to do, you are prevailing and you are vibrating very highly this month. I'm getting the goosebumps. I feel as though it's a time, it's a definitely a time of creation. You guys are creating a better future for yourselves, and I see a lot of success and victory here. Try not to be naive, okay? Don't try to prove yourself either. You don't need to prove yourself to anybody. At this time, it's about being happy, okay? These are advice cards. Be happy. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Just be happy. You've done a lot of work. You are going through a serious renewal right now, and you are vibrating at a very high level. Don't let it get to your head. I'm not saying that it's gone. I'm just telling you. Just don't be naive. Don't be reckless. Take your time. Slow and steady wins the race. Accept this change graciously, okay? One step at a time. Don't try to do too much at one time. The thing is, is you are letting go of something, okay? We have these three twos. They're all about partnerships. You're building a new foundation. And, and I feel like you're going to have to let go of something that you don't need. Okay, something that brought chaos to your life, something that was very unbalanced. So I feel like you guys are dropping something that no longer serves you. And you're being called to take the next steps and have faith. But there's, you know, these, this is reversed and this is reversed. I don't know where the other two is or if that was reversed. Yeah, it was. So you guys lack faith. You lack faith. Twos are a number of faith. Okay, you have to keep the faith, and this is lack of faith too. So this is advice for you. Don't lose faith. It takes time. You are on the right track. You are headed in the right direction. You are bringing success to your life. Don't lose faith. It takes time. This isn't going to happen overnight. You guys are definitely growing. There's a lot of growth here. And this is a month where things could happen so fast with that Knight of Pentacles. You know, something is happening that you might, you know, you could be reckless. And I'm just here to tell you not to be reckless. Really just slow. Go take it slow. Try to take it slow. It's exciting. I know that it's exciting. But you do need to take it slow. Don't, don't, don't jump over the finish line. Step over the finish line. Yeah, you guys are letting go of something. 
And this, you know, this partnership that you're letting go of doesn't have to be love. It could be. It could be any other partnership. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's not. So you're leaving because you've grown. <laughs> oh, of course. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Interesting, huh? Is this for somebody new? Or is this for yourself? Or is this for the future? Because I see you guys want to run. You know, you want to move fast. And I'm telling you, don't. That's why this naive and reckless came up. Be careful. Be careful. Yes, this is your soulmate. You might meet your soulmate with that Ace of Cups this month. Or if you're with your soulmate already, maybe it's the, the relationship steps up a notch because you've grown. Could lead to a wedding. This situation involves marriage. Don't run. Don't run. Take your time. You know, this split could be a marriage, too, because this Two of Cups is next to this. You could be getting a divorce or getting out of a marriage, okay, to go find your soulmate. Because there is unrequited love with this partner. I mean, it can go so many different ways. But I feel like there is a new chemistry here. Whether it's for your future or it's for a new person. And you may be overly excited and get reckless and naive and blow the whole deal. So just move slow. Take your time. Keep going. There's a victory in success here. There is. I see a release of negativity, a release of negative patterns, negative thoughts, where you guys are relighting the fire, the passion within you. There's a lot of confidence. There's a lot of excitement. But just, you know, take your time. Oh, my God. Self-love. I'm going to zoom that in. This is a beautiful month, Sagittarius. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. I'm telling you what, those cards are one. They're one and the same. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. Self-love. Your, your ability to put yourself first is paying off. Okay? Because your vibration is raising very rapidly. You may be very excited about this. But you got don't be reckless. Take your time. Okay? And that is what I have for the month of April. Talk to you later.